What's going on everybody, it's Brian, and in this video I'll be showing you the performance of Far Cry 2 on the MSI GT780R gaming laptop. Now if you want to know the specs, you can go down below in the description and that's where you will find them. So I open up the Far Cry 2 benchmark tool and here are all of the settings for the game. You can see that I have it on DirectX 10, or yeah, DirectX 10, not DirectX 9. This game does not support DirectX 11. You can see that this game is completely maxed out, except for anti-aliasing. So let's go ahead and add two times anti-aliasing to the mix. And let's go ahead and launch the benchmark. So let's go ahead and see how this game performs. Okay, so you can see that the game is finally loaded, and keep in mind that two times anti-aliasing is enabled, and this game is pretty much maxed out completely. Now you can see that it stopped right there, and that's because I just turned the turbo boost mode on, which gives you about, usually gives you about two to three more frames per second in your games. Uh, I don't know if that little, not too sure if that little pause is going to affect the overall score, but if it does, we'll just let it go through the other two runs, since I did have it set to go through this little benchmark three different times. I think the volume is down, so... Yeah. Okay, so that is run one, and you can see that the, perf the performance is actually quite good, considering this game is maxed out, although it is, it's not the newest game around, but you, for frame rates, you get anywhere between 45 to 70. So here is run number two. So, so that's it with run number two, so we're going to go ahead and let it go through the benchmark one more time, and then it will give us the results. Okay, so that's it with the benchmark, and here are the results. It tells you your settings at the top. Now for run number one, the minimum frame rate was 0.63, and that was when I turned on the uh, turbo boost mode for a second. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And for run two, the max was 76, and the minimum was set 37. 
and a little bit different results on run three, but you can see that overall, you can see that during the actual benchmarking that this computer performs great with this game. So if Far Cry 2 is a game you look forward to playing, then the GT 780 will handle it just fine at the maximum settings. So that was just a quick benchmark video of Far Cry 2 on the MSI GT 780R gaming laptop. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, game requests, or anything like that, you can go ahead and leave them down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all soon.